hey guys welcome back to my channel thanks for watching thanks for subscribing so today i'm here to share with you what i made for tamika's volume number seven it's a link party if you want to know more information about it's a link parties or to join in on tamika's um please visit her page at scraptheworld.com um, she also explains a little bit here on youtube and her youtube is you guessed it scrap the world um so definitely check her out these um it's a link challenges are super fun um you make them at home following a tutorial and then you can mail them out for like racks or you can keep them for yourself. This one I made for myself. I don't know what I want to put in it, but um, I just really, really love it and um, I'm going to keep it. How often do we keep the stuff that we make for ourselves, right? Or that we make, period. So I used the gorgeous paper pad, which was gifted to me by Laura, who is um, Vintology by Lola here on YouTube. And she gifted me this Amber Moon by Prima, which is just absolutely amazing. I love fall, and this collection is just gorgeous. You guys can look it up. Um, and I also used um, my favorite, favorite, favorite paper. Um, this is Crush Curry from Stampin' Up. I have been hoarding this because it's no longer a color. But um, Or last time... I checked it wasn't a color it might be back now because you know they recycle colors but this is one of my favorite favorite colors it's not a vibrant yellow but it's not a dull yellow either it's it's definitely an autumn yellow so that's what I used to make my box so I will show you here is the top I just used some leaves that I got from the Dollar Tree that came in a pack and um, they were left over from a project that I did last year um, this is just a piece of the paper I just cut it to where the bird was down here this is one of the ephemera pieces. Laura gifted me the ephemera pieces as well. So there's some um, acetate pieces. Um, these, I used two of the acetate pieces, but there are also um, chipboard pieces in the ephemera pack at 49 pieces. So it's super fun. Um, this one says today, and then this says autumn shows us how beautiful it is to let things go. So it's super beautiful in this like thorn wreath. I just love it um, and I used some washi tape it was actually from Dollar Tree and I used this one here which is like a copper glitter which it matched the paper collection perfectly um, so I'm not a huge washi tape person but I was gifted a ton and ton of washi tape so I'm trying to use it um, and I found that it's your best friend when you mismeasure or when you put something down wonky, washi tape will cover up that error. So anyway, so this is how I decorate it. I chose to do the belly band with the magnet. I left my magnet raw just so you guys can see it. I'll cover it after the video. Or maybe I'll just leave it raw. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's for me. I just stuck the three leaves down there. The beautiful paper. On the inside, um... I used one of the border pieces just to put on top to give it a little more interest. I cut one of the sheets out so that way the bird collage was down here. Here's some more of the border sheet. In the box, this is some shreddy from, um, um, I think two years ago maybe, from Ebony Moore, who is Sharon Moore here on YouTube. Kind of, I wanted, um, I was pulling out decorations that I was hoarding, <laughs> and she made this for me. Um, so... Um, I was going to kind of use it on my box, um, but I wanted it on the front, but obviously you can't see it. Um, and then it was just too big to um, work out. But um, So this was my kind of my inspiration. I love it. It's a pumpkin. Um, but that's kind of where what kind of got me in the autumn um, mood. Um, so in her package, she has shreddy. So I'm going to probably put some more shreddy in here. I don't know what I'm putting in it, like I said, so... I don't know what I want to do, but I just used um, a little strip of the paper on either side because I didn't want to use a full sheet, you know, because we're just gluing the boxes down. So um, I just, you know, pieced it and I put that copper washi tape there to give it some more bling. Um, I used the border strips here. So it was like three different, four different borders. But I thought it was really cute. And then I just used the scraps that were left over on the other side of this paper, the border strips. Um for that so and I didn't do anything to the bottom if I was mailing it out I would cover the bottom with a sheet of paper um, but because I'm keeping it I'm not going to um, and then I also made this using one of the little cards to go with it um, so it doesn't fit but 
And this is a really sweet box. Definitely um, check out the tutorial on Scrap the World um, here on YouTube. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.